Financial help for growers clearing silt from their crops has been welcomed in Hawke's Bay. But for some, even when the debris is cleared, there won't be anything to save. Laura Tupo reports. This was once Philip Barber's baby. For 16 years, he nurtured these vines. This is what they looked like just two weeks ago. And now? Over there further is um, the Viognier, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris, Gewurz Tremina. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it doesn't get easier. It probably gets harder every day you get here. Until now, his focus has been on his house and family, but he urgently needs the silt and debris around the vines cleared to survey the damage. And um, where's it all come from? Um, you know, it's crazy. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, all I know is it's all here on my land and it shouldn't be. Now we need bigger machinery and, yeah, and... and some, some money. The government has stumped up $25 million to support farmers and growers. That includes grants of $2,000 a hectare of land for the removal of silt and the salvaging of plants. That is a big chunk of what we want to do is to support them to save those. Uh, the amount of silt that's sitting around, that is one of the things that will really affect those trees and vines. And for growers like cherry orchardist Carla Van Beek, it all helps. Oh, it's huge. I know every little bit is really helpful because we have got insurance, but our trees, you can't insure trees. So she's clearing the bottom of her trees in the hope they'll survive. It's very demoralising if you have to do it on your own or even just two or three people because you think it's too big. You just can't do it. She's got a team of volunteers and RSE workers mucking in. The government says the removal of silt could cost up to $200 million. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with it. They took 50 truckloads out of our, out of our garden alone and um, we've put it all at the moment in, our, in the orchard. But for Patani Wines, clearing this won't bring back their award-winning vintage. I'm standing on a row of Clone 95 Chardonnay grapevines. They were meant to be hand-picked in two weeks' time. These, along with eight other varieties, now are completely dead. But these vines are history. There's no, nothing to be saved here. It's going to be a Herculean task for growers, but progress is one day at a time. Laura Tupo, News Hub.